Today we're going to check out how to add these glowing effects on text and finalize the comp here in After Effects. If you want to check out how I animated the text and ball, you can click the link in the description. Now this was inspired from this tutorial and I recreated in typo, so let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to right click this text comp as because here we're going to create the effects. And from here I'm going to select all the letters, including the null and excluding the ball. Right click, go to pre-comp and we're going to type in text animation. Click OK. Right click here, go to new, select a solid, and I'm gonna go with a lighter blue, click OK, and I'm gonna rename it as background, click OK, drag the background under the text, select the text, and here we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in fill, drag and drop the fill on the text, and here we can recolor it. I'm gonna make this really nice blue color, click OK. I'm going to duplicate the layer, select the bottom one, right click, rename. I'm going to add glow and I'm going to go to the effects and presets, type in CC radial fast blur, drag and drop on the glow layer. And this is going to create that glowing effect. I'm going to increase here the amount somewhere around 80 and I'm going to change up the color to some darker and dirtier blue. And as you can see, the glow is not following the ball, so it's not animated. And I'm going to go here to the center. And you can see this little cross here. And if I bring it here, for example, so the glow starts from here. So I'm going to select the cross and we're going to go here to the ball center. Click perfectly to the center. And now I'm going to go to the text animation glow, open it up, open up the effects. We're going to go to the CC radial fast blur, select the center here. And we're going to pick whip and we're going to pair it to the ball's position like that. And now you can see it is following the ball. Great, I gotta collapse it. And now we're gonna need to create a glowing effect which is gonna illuminate the text. So I gotta select the text animation, press Ctrl D to duplicate, right click, rename, text glow. Right click here, click on new, select solid. I'm gonna rename it as glow, click OK. Now let's go and select the ellipse from here. Ellipse tool, press and hold shift, we're gonna mask it. Now let's go to the mask one, open it up. Let's go to mask feathering and increase it to make it nice and glowy. Now I'm going to select it and we're going to need to position it on the ball. So I'm going to go and drag and drop the glow under the ball. But as you can see, the anchor point is not perfectly into the center. I'm going to press and hold control, double click on the pen behind here. And it's going to jump into the center and position this glow perfectly on the circle. Now we're going to collapse it. Let's go to the text glow. And we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in contrast, drag and drop the brightness and contrast right here, increase the brightness. And we're gonna need to go to the track mat. Right now I don't have it here. Let's go to toggle switch modes. And here we got the track mat. Let's go and change it up to glow. So as you can see, it is start to glow this area, but the glow, it's not following the ball. So I'm gonna go back where it was exactly. And we're gonna pick whip it. We're gonna pair it to the ball right here. And now it is following the ball and it's creating this really cool glowing effect. And not but least, we're going to add that text stroke. So I'm going to go to the text animation, double click and select all the letters with the null, press control C. We're going to go to the text effect, click on the ball, press control V, deselect, press and hold shift, select all the letters. Let's go to the properties here, uncheck the fill, check the stroke. And I'm going to go and decrease it to 0 0.06. Now select the null and I'm going to reposition it somewhere here. And we're going to need to animate the stroke a little bit differently to make it more dynamic. What I'm going to do is select all the letters, press the letter U to highlight the keyframes. And here I'm going to select the keyframes and move them a little bit and customize them to make the strokes come alive. Let's see what we got. Hit play and it looks beautiful. And this is how you make this glowing text effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.